Hello, my name is Samantha Montalegre and welcome to The Maternity Mentor. Today we're going to be talking about urinary tract infections. Thanks for joining us. Today's topic is urinary tract infections. For anyone who doesn't know me, I have been a registered nurse since 2009. I have spent my entire career working in the maternal newborn nursing area, including mother-baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum, and labor and delivery. I have practiced as an IBCLC since 2012 and have been maternal newborn nursing certified since 2013. I have also received specialized training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, as well as perinatal bereavement. Urinary tract infections are extremely common during pregnancy, and up to 5% of women can experience at least one during their pregnancy. Once you have one, you are very likely to get another one. You may be wondering why this is even important. Urinary tract infections can lead to a variety of complications for pregnant women, including preterm labor and birth, preeclampsia, and increased risk of fetal growth restriction, which can cause the baby to have a low birth weight. Preventing a urinary tract infection is key, so we're going to discuss what a urinary tract infection is, what to do if you get one, and how to prevent them in the first place. A urinary tract infection is an infection in the urinary system of the body. It's sometimes called a UTI. The urinary system includes the urethra, bladder, ureters, and kidneys. The ureters are tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder, and the urethra is the tube connecting the bladder to the outside. The purpose of this system is to remove extra water and waste from the body. Bacteria can travel up the urethra from the vagina or rectum and into the bladder. These infections occur more often in women than men because women have a shorter urethra and the urethra is closer to the vagina and anus, making it much easier for the bacteria to travel to their destination. Once inside the bladder, the bacteria multiply and create the infection. If the infection is contained within the urethra, it is referred to as urethritis. When the infection is inside the bladder, it can be referred to as a bladder infection or acute cystitis. If the infection progresses and becomes more serious, it can enter the kidneys where it is referred to as a kidney infection or acute pyelonephritis. Every woman may experience a different sensation when they develop a urinary tract infection. However, there are many signs and symptoms that women should be aware of. For a urinary tract infection, these include burning or painful urination, frequent urination or feeling like you have to pee often, trouble peeing, cloudy, dark, or blood-tinged urine, urine with a different or bad odor, pelvic or lower back pain, including a cramping feeling, and a low-grade fever. Signs of a more serious or kidney infection can include nausea or vomiting, high fever, chills, and pain in one or both sides of the upper abdomen or back. Some women have no symptoms at all, but this is not common. If you have any of these symptoms or you are concerned you may have a urinary tract infection, it is very important that you contact your healthcare provider immediately. There are many contributing factors of urinary tract infections. First, some of the hormonal changes that pregnant women experience make it easier for the bacteria to travel into the urethra and enter the bladder. Also, the growing uterus applies pressure to the bladder, making it more difficult to empty the bladder completely. Residue urine increases the risk of allowing bacteria to grow and cause a urinary tract infection. Additionally, a woman's urine gets more concentrated with hormones and sugar. This may explain why UTIs are more common during pregnancy. 
The most common bacteria to cause UTIs is E. coli. E. coli comes from the bowels and is located in the rectum. Women who wipe from back to front will inadvertently bring these bacteria to the entrance of the urethra. Intercourse can also contribute because it can push the bacteria up into the urethra. And finally, there is a bacterium from the intestine called group beta streptococcus. It can also cause urinary tract infections. If it is colonized in the rectum or vagina and at delivery, it can cause an infection for your baby. So your doctor will test you for it at the end of your pregnancy and treat you with antibiotics during your delivery if your test is positive. Some risk factors for increasing your risk of urinary tract infections include maternal diabetes, obesity, sickle cell disease, having several children, a history of reoccurring UTIs, previous urinary tract surgery, being sexually active, and damage to the nerves that control the bladder. Conditions that cause that include Parkinson's disease, paralysis, brain or physical injury, and multiple sclerosis. Diagnosis of urinary tract infections is very easy. Your provider will ask you to give them a urine sample. Often, they will give you a kit that includes two wipes to clean your vagina first. Then they will ask you to pee a couple drops into the toilet to ensure that they get a clean sample. And finally, you pee into the urine cup and give that specimen to your provider. This is called a clean catch urine sample. Your provider will look for several things in your urine, including bacteria, red blood cells, and white blood cells. They will also run a urine culture, which takes a couple days. They are doing this to determine what kind of bacteria caused your infection. As long as you haven't developed a kidney infection, treatment can be very easy. It is likely you will be put on an antibiotic pill for three to seven days. Your provider will usually start the treatment before your urine culture comes back. Symptoms can go away very quickly in as little as one to three days. However, you need to finish all of your antibiotics as prescribed or the infection could come back. Your provider will prescribe an antibiotic that is safe for your pregnancy. And there are several options to choose from, so don't worry about taking the medications. In addition, your provider will probably recommend that you drink plenty of fluids. And this should continue as a practice after the urinary tract infection has resolved. If you have developed a kidney infection, you may need treatment in a hospital. This treatment may include a stronger IV antibiotic as well as IV fluids. It is extremely important to treat UTIs and kidney infections because they can lead to long-term damage to your kidneys. There are many things you can do to prevent a urinary tract infection. First, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water with a minimum intake of eight glasses of water per day. Next, go to the bathroom often. Holding your urine can increase your risk of building bacterial growth. However, drinking plenty of fluids should help with this. Make sure you wipe yourself from front to back when using the restroom. Do not douche. And avoid products with strong odors or chemicals, including feminine deodorants and soaps, as these can lead to irritation. Wear cotton underwear and avoid wearing underwear at night. Don't wear pants that are too tight. Make sure to eat a well-balanced diet. Many providers will recommend yogurt or active cultures or probiotics. But do not take anything without consulting your provider first. It should be noted that cranberry juice used to be thought to help prevent and treat UTIs. This has been disproven and it is not recommended to drink lots of sugary drinks during pregnancy. Finally, take showers instead of baths and practice good hygiene. Now, regarding your sex life, there are several things you can do to reduce your risk of UTIs. These include 
washing your genitals prior to sex. If you're using a lubricant, choose a water-based lubricant rather than an oil-based one. Urinate before and after sex and rinse your genitals or take a shower when you are finished. Urinary tract infections can have serious consequences to your pregnancy. So it is essential that you know how to recognize them so you can receive early treatment. We hope this video has taught you what to look for and when to call your provider if you suspect you are experiencing a urinary tract infection. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor. 